Hey guys, Moose Cap here. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, my opinion of a must-have number one upgrade, or a must-have upgrade, or a number one upgrade of a, of an AR AR type uh, rifle. Now, when we're talking about upgrades or modification, there's a couple of categories we could look at. You know, there's always ergonomics in a rifle. That's pretty important, like the grip. A lot of people change out the grip and the forearm, foregrip and all that. But that's really important. And of course there's accuracy. You know, people change out the trigger and put in a new barrel or <coughs> upgraded barrel, which helps you give you accuracy. And uh, optics always helps too. Um, and then there's aesthetics. I mean, um, let's face it guys, you know, we all like rifles that look nice and look cool and, and you know, we don't want to ugly looking rifle, you know, that's always a part of it. But uh, I think some of you guys know where I'm getting at. Um, like, and it's not just rifle, you know, just any firearm. Um, what I believe is the most important is reliability. Um, you know, if, if the gun doesn't go bang, then what is it? You know, you, you got a heavy stick, stick on your hands, that's what you got. Um, you know, ergonomic accuracy and aesthetics is all important, but at the end of the day, if you pull the trigger and the and the gun jams up, or if, you know, if it's not reliable, it you know you have malfunctions every whatever hundred rounds, then uh, that's not a gun you or rifle you want to have. So the upgrade I, I'm going to be talking about is does two things for you. And before I get to that, let me introduce what it is. Yes, that's a bolt carrier group, and this is the one that came with my MMP 15 Sport. And the upgrade I'm talking about is Micro Slick. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard it. I found this out myself not too long ago, um, so I want to share uh, what I know, my, what my research showed, and my thoughts on it. So this Micro Slick. It's like, uh, it's basically kind of like Cerakote. I'm not going to pretend like I know, I'm like expert on micro slick, so I'll just share with you what I know. But it's type of Cerakote, the kind of Cerakote you put on your pistol frames and slides and stuff like that. By the way, this is my uh, CG75 that I had Cerakoted. This was all black, but I wanted like a two-tone look, something new, something different from all the other ones. But anyway, that's another video, but anyways. So yeah, it's just like, uh, it's like a Cerakote, uh, but it's a thin film that goes on your bolt car carrier group. Now, when this gets put on, all the parts come out, except for maybe uh, the gas key right here because it's staked. But, uh, you know, your your striker, your all these pins, it gets all taken out. And uh, it's individually um, uh, Cerakoted or sprayed on with micro slick and, and, and heat treated. And so, this micro slick, they advertise it as a dry film lubricant. Um, and they say that because one of the things it does is it gives you reliability. It, it's basically, you could run this, your, you could run your AR without having to put oil. Because it prevents um, metal to metal contact. That's what this does. And the other thing it does is it gives you corrosion resistance. And in fact, it, it's one of the uh, one of the coats that outperforms um, nickel boron, fel zero, duro coat, MP3, titanium nitrite. This is titanium nitrite on my knife here. I've been cutting just like I've been pretty much abusing this thing, and you hardly see anywhere. Or maybe a little blemish there. So this titanium nitride is pretty. Coat is pretty uh, pretty good. I don't know if you guys have that, but but um, this micro slick should outperform the even the uh, fell zero and titanium nitride. Now as far as um, durability and. And as far as coming off or something like that, I don't know. But as far as like performance-wise, as corrosion resistance, 
Seracode and Nibic, uh, Seracode and Microslick will outperform all those that I mentioned. And I say that because I mean, you, you might think, well, if, if this comes off easier than, um, say, for example, like titanium nitride, why would it be, uh, why would it outperform it? And the reason for that is this gets heat treated. And when they, when they, um, when they uh, spray this on and get it heat treated, what they do is they prepare it by, um, by doing an aluminum oxide blast on it to remove the old coating. And what that helps it, um, help it does is like it, get rid of, it gets rid of all the old film and it leaves in like microscopic pores, opens up the microscopic pores, and this micro slick gets uh, embedded into the metal. So even if, yeah, and I know what you guys are thinking, like with all metal parts, when it's rubbing against each other, it's gonna come off. Yes, it's gonna come off, but difference between micro slick and say a Doroco where, you know, it'll, it'll come off or, and, or even uh, nickel boron is that this gets embedded in the, in the microscopic pores and so, even though you know you you'll see wear marks, that microslick is still in your bulk carrier group. So it it still performs like a dry film lubricant. And uh, let me just show you share with you some of the facts that I know uh, that that I did research on. Microslick is unaffected by heat over 1200 Fahrenheit. So that's why they use this in gun parts, and they use this in, say, uh, like, I know NASCAR uses it in their car parts. And, well, I see why NASCAR uses it, because, like I said, this thing gets impregnated into the metal, so, uh, you know, with their cars running the way, way they do. And, you know, NASCAR, they don't spare money, you know, they, they go with the best, so. And also what it does is that because you could run your AR dry like this and you don't really have to put oil, that your AR is gonna be is gonna run cleaner. You know how it is, when you put oil, you know, it just collects more dust and more, you know, powder, gunpowder that's shooting back in back into your rifle. And and with oil, it'll hold on to that. With putting less oil, It's not. There's no place. It's not going to hold that that debris. And also cleanup. That's why the cleanup is going to be a lot easier too. This because it's a coating. It doesn't really. The metal wants to hold on to the to the to the all that stuff that's coming back from. Sorry, I can't think of all the words today. I don't know why, but you know all the other stuff that's coming back and hold. You know, it wants to hold on to that. And you know that's why you have to use all this cleaner and stuff. With this. Because you hardly have to use any oil, or you don't really, they don't say you, they say you don't have to use it, but I don't know, me, I'm going to put light oil just because I like to keep my firearms running good and I just want to see less wear. So I'm going to, I am going to put a little bit of oil. Um, I would just get like a, like a towel, put some oil on it and just kind of rub it on like that. And that's all I'm going to do. Just very lightly. Because I still want my air to run, run um, somewhat dry with this uh, coating on. Because the cleanup is going to be so much easier. Because this micro stick is just going to help me to just, you know, just just rub it with top, rub it with the towel or something, and it, it should take that all, all of that off. Um, and the guys, if if you know of any other um, finish that can outperform micro slick Cerakote, let me know in the comment section, please. Uh, just keep in mind that. Uh, this micro uh, micro slick on this uh, bulk carrier group was fifty dollars, and that's pretty much the going price uh, wherever you take it to. Um, so just keep in mind that we want to keep it around that price range. Let me know if you know of anything that can outperform um, micro slick as far as corrosion res resistance and reliability for your rifle. Um, there's videos out there where people do like corrosion test, uh, you know, on, on all of them, and uh, Cerakote Micro, Micro 6 um, withstands like 400 hours of like uh, corrosion torture test and stuff like that, so um, I think they, they, they put it in a thing with uh, 
salt water or something like that. I don't, I don't really remember, but yeah. So, anyways, the, yeah. So this this code, it, you know, it's to me, it it's one of the uh, the best upgrade you could do for your AR because you're make you're kind of making your rifle like a Glock. I don't know if you guys have a Glock or not, or you know, if you know about Glock, you know this Glock. When push comes to shove, if you ask it to do it, it'll shoot dry. In fact. A lot of people get their guns out dirtied up because they put too much oil. On Glock, it's not like your other pistols. It's not like your uh, your 1911s or your, your metal frame guns. Um, you want to put little oils in certain spots. You don't want to you don't want to put too much where it's gonna gunk up the gun with the you know all this stuff. But yeah, like I said, back to the point. Yeah, you could you if you ask a Glock to do it, it'll it'll shoot dry for thousands and thousands of rounds. And that's what you're doing with your AR. By putting micro slick in your bolt carrier group, all these moving parts, there's no metal to metal contact because it's done micro slick or micro slick contact. And especially for $50. I mean, we spent $50 on like our, our, our uh, stock or just, uh, just on our, just on our maybe front and, you know. And rear sights, we spent 50 bucks. Even just on the handguard, we spent 50 bucks. So, um, yeah, in my opinion, this is one of the best upgrades you could do for your rifle. Not only is it going to be corrosion risk, the one of the most corrosion resistant, resistant coating you could give your gun, your rifle, your AR rifle, but also it's going to help your reliability. And, uh, and if push comes to shove, you have to run your rifle without without any oil. Micro slick will let you let you run your uh, AR dry. So anyways, um, yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave below. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Moosecap signing out.